Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people and welcome to recharging this time from my little home studio behind my desk because I'm going to talk about this charging session that I filmed from the MGZS EV on a 350 kilowatt charger. I started the charging session at about 8% and I will stop it at about 90%. Unfortunately, in the car that is being shipped to Europe, there is nowhere to be found the state of charge, the actually percentage state of charge. So I will give you a rough estimate in the bottom right corner over here, because every bar that you see is around 12 to 13 uh, percent. What I've done, I've actually made the battery. I tried to make the battery hot uh, discharging session before discharging session, and I did that by going to a fast charger. Uh, charging after the fast charger I went driving for a bit and in that way I hoped to heat up the battery because in theory this car can charge with 80 kilowatt hours and that's quite a lot for this 45 kilowatt hour battery pack but this charging session I've only reached 50 kilowatts and it stayed there for quite a long time I have proof that under on that uh, another time I actually reached 75 kilowatts with this car so it is possible to reach that 80 kilowatt but I don't know why it didn't make it this time. I mean, the battery has active cooling, active liquid cooling, so there will be no rapid gate or whatever. The battery is cooled properly and also heated properly. And also, uh, when this charging session was going on, I actually heard the cooling or heating kicking in. I heard actually liquid flowing um, underneath the car. So the battery was being warmed up or cooled in some way. So the battery was hot enough, I think, but I still don't get why I didn't get the 75 kilowatts that I actually had before while charging this car. You probably need optimal conditions for that. So, as I said, in this charging session, I reached about 51 kilowatts as maximum, and it stayed there for quite a long time. And what is actually cool, though, as you can see in the top right corner, is that the MG logo it's actually blink it has a blinking light while the car is charging i mean how awesome is that and i think every ev should have that and unfortunately they don't but i thought it was a very cool detail anyway um so the car is now at 50 percent it's still charging at 51 kilowatts so it's still decent enough for this 45 kilowatt hour battery we're 20 minutes in and we've actually done 40 minutes so that means if we keep this pace from 10 to 80 percent will take you about half an hour to 30 minutes and even faster maybe if it actually reaches that 80 kilowatts but i gotta say when i was actually charging on 75 kilowatts um it actually went down pretty quickly so i started with 75 but it very quickly went down to again about 50 kilowatts can't remember exactly at what state of charge that happened but it happened it won't stay long there on the 80 kilowatt and even when i when i reached 75 i was also on eight percent state of charge so again i don't know why it didn't make it this time as you can see around 50 percent it's already starts throttling a little bit it goes down to about 46 kilowatts but it does that very slowly and it keeps that 45 kilowatts to about 80 percent state of charge and that's i think that's quite a fast charging speed for that high state of charge i think i think my kona actually throttles down to about 27 already at around 75 75 percent so i think it's still pretty quick that it is doing it as you can see now at 75 percent it's already going down to around 44 kilowatts it's throttling more and more and as you will see in a bit at about 80 percent it will actually go down further to um 25 27 kilowatts and from that moment it's already it's not paying off anymore to stay at a fast charger in my opinion just charge from 10 to 80 percent and then you uh then leave because the charging goes too slow the charging goes too slow to make it worthwhile to actually stay there so if you wait here for a little bit 80 percent should be reached quite quickly though yeah, there we go. It's around 80%. You can see the current is going down. It's going down to 56 amps uh, at 81% state of charge. It will actually go to about 25 kilowatts charging. So that means from 80 to 
to 90% will already take you around 12 minutes to 15 minutes. That's quite a long time if you imagine that you reached 10 to 80% in about 35 minutes. Then it's already a long of <laughs> then it's already a lot of time and it's not again it's not worth it to stay at the supercharger anymore. Just go to the next one. Save your time, go to the next one. And whatever. So another bar came up. We're now about 86%. And as you will see if, uh, in a bit, that at, at about 90%, the car will actually throttle a lot. And, and I mean a lot. If, I think it will only reach about 6 kilowatts at 91%. So if you wait until that time, it's not worth it. AC charging is going, eh, can be going as fast as actually staying at the fast charger at 91%. So just leave then, leave it be. And this was it. This was the charging session. You will see it going down. But thank you a lot for watching. If you like this, feel free to subscribe and give a like. And if you did not, please leave a comment below to see what I can improve. And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching everyone. And